Welcome to June's Tutorial TV in 3, 2, 1. Go ahead, Mommy. Hi, I see this a lot, so I thought I'd just make a quick video. A lot of people's social media links will open up in the same tab or the same window, and it literally will take people off of your website. And you don't really want that to happen. So let me show you what's going on. And I'm just working on a new header here at the top. And so let's say Twitter. Let's say I click on Twitter. And it, it literally takes me off of the website. Uh, so I'm going to go back. And the same with all these other icons. So best practice is you want to always open something like that in, the, in a new window. Now, granted, the user could just right click and say open link in new tab because our browsers, web browsers have gotten more and more sophisticated. You know, Chrome, Firefox, most browsers have the ability to let the user control if, if a link opens in a new window. But the average person is just going to just click on this or if they're on the phone tap on it so uh, i'm going to go into the page builder of this particular site and most things will have the ability for you to open it in a new tab so right up here in the upper right where the uh, icons are so right here i'm going to just click inside and it's going to open up the icons here and so, for example, the first one you see there is Twitter. I'm going to click into Twitter. And as you can see, here are the options. And I can open up the Twitter in a new window, which is what we want. And in this case, it's going to open it in a new tab. I'll also point out in this particular instance, we can also check no follow. So that's when your site is being indexed by a search engine such as Google or bots that crawl the web uh, indexing your website uh, or, or checking to see what links are available to put it in the search engine results. In this case, we're going to say no follow because this actually is leading someone off of the web page. All right, so we're just gonna hit save and then we're gonna repeat that for each of these other icons. Let me get this cursor off of here. And we're gonna do that for this one. This is uh, Spotify. And we got Facebook. and SoundCloud. And if you're doing that old school in, in HTML, in the anchor tag, you're going to put target equals and then quotation mark underscore blank. Target equals underscore blank, close quote. And uh, that's how you could do it in the HTML coding if you ever had to do it manually. So we're going to go ahead and publish this. So now when we click on the icon up here, I'm going to click the Twitter. Aha, it opens in a new window and we have not left the actual web page. Um, now this looks funny because I'm installing a new header and then the new footer. So, but if I, um, so we're not going to see it when I, if I go to the full web page, well, actually, I can go to a specific page to show that. We just applicated a new design for this client. It's very exciting. All right, so now in the, now, now we got something uh, here that we can look at. And in the upper right corner, we have these icons. And I'm going to click on, let's do Instagram and see how Instagram opens up in a new tab. See here, right here, the new tab. But 
I still have the web page here open. Whereas before, instead of Instagram opening up in the new tab, it went to Instagram in this tab and it just took me completely off the website. So that's what we fixed. Um, it's a little quick a trick, but highly recommended that all social media links open in new tabs in a new, in a new window. Thanks for viewing. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask them below. I'll be happy to take a look. All right. Take care and have a great day. Thanks for watching my mom's tutorial TV. June's tutorial TV is powered by JD Web Solutions.